Hello and welcome to Cities Skylines. This is Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and I am your humble host, Christopher Tarantola, aka Swifty Spider, aka Architect, depending on where you find me. And today we are going to look. I, I've, as you can see, I've done a lot to this um, city, and since the last time you you looked at it. Um, buildings I've I, I did a pop of palooza I basically did a plop of palooza where I just I plopped tons and tons and tons of huge gigantic buildings um, and I really think it it completely uh, adds to the look of this downtown area I mean this downtown area just I'm really loving how it looks I love how it looks from afar um, you know Especially when you get into the first person view, it can really start to. Okay, let's get on that ground. It really starts to to have a skyline, and so we're really starting to uh, show off what this game can do. Now, coming over, I'm just kind of going to travel along as I talk about it. You know, I've basically I've I've took all the. Rico buildings, I took all of the uh, landmark buildings and I didn't do too many of the land, the, the, the monument buildings, just uh, one monument building, but I took them all and I plopped them. And I, I just kind of went crazy and you know this is the first time, this is actually really my first game where I've done that, um, or at least uh, beyond just the, the landmarks. I've never really been uh, downloaded. I, I this is the, really the first game I've used the Rico mod, I should say, the first map. I'm doing this on camera, so I'm sure I'm not doing it as well as I could. But you know, um, if you look at this area, this area is completely transformed. It used to be just uh, single-family homes, and and they were just zoned and grown, um, nothing particularly special in it really looks something different because I basically took lofts and apartments and that kind of thing and just kind of went to town on this area and it really has transformed to a medium density area um, and some of it I, I like some of it I don't like in the sense that I, I like all the assets and, and the, all the ability to plop and stuff uh, I did I just kind of plopped on existing streets I didn't really think too much about the urban planning aspect of it I just kind of did it I didn't detail it at all um, here you can see me doing a test of the new um, forestry mod which is uh, really awesome you just uh, are basically able to here let me get out a tab here and it's gonna get me all the way back over here okay so this new forestry mod is pretty cool where uh, at the little button down here you click it and you get a forest brush and I did a test 01 um, you can uh, turn that on and then you just go through and you check which trees um, you want to go into the mix essentially and as you can see I've got a lot of trees downloaded as well so that also adds to it and then it gives you a brush and then you have the settings here where you can adjust the, the size of your brush you know to be much larger you can adjust the strength of it um, it shows here density how dense you want it so I would say I want it all the way dense yeah um, overlay color you can change that I guess so let's try green yeah there we go so um, that makes that makes it a little bit more sense. It's more default. Okay, and then uh, you can make it a square brush, which sounds cool, but at the same time, I don't know how to rotate it. So if I knew how to rotate the brush, um, see, I'm just taking out trees there. Um, but you see, it really creates a whole different flavor to the area when you are able to do it like this and look at how dense that is look at how great that looks it's a very different look than the stock look which is basically I just threw down a bunch of uh, 
of the, the tall, the big tall uh, redwood trees and that, and call it a day. But this has a whole different look to it. I mean, we, we'll go, let's go up in here, and it's just like you're in a fourth, and I just, I didn't really do a lot of thinking about what I clicked, I just, uh, visually what trees and bushes I thought would go good together and be kind of a natural deciduous forest. Um, and that's kind of cool. You get a, and you could probably create a nice little, uh, a, a nice forest area, um, which it, it's easier. It's not like you couldn't do this before, but it's now it's easier to do. And I, I did a little bit of that right there. Now, one thing that I have noticed with this mod, which I'm not too thrilled about, is um, let's bring our size down. And let's uh, let's go back to a circular brush. You can see I can fill in right here, but it's not filling in over there. And even when I Control P to turn my uh, prop and tree anarchy on, it doesn't seem to go uh, beyond where uh, it's open. So you're not going to get the same sort of wow. Look how dense that is. Maybe a little too much. Maybe overdoing it? I don't know. I'm going to leave it. Screw it. But, um... I lost my train of thought. Oh! But, you know, it's it's not infiltrating into all these little spaces, which are basically plots. And so it's not going to infiltrate into the plots. And so you're still going to need to go to your traditional uh, trees over here. And, uh, of course, i got additional landscaping tools over there. And you're still going to need to individually plop trees, which I think is a little bit disappointing, quite frankly. Um, you know, I, I, on the one hand, it's it's a quality of life improvement, and I think uh, it's a great idea, and I'm glad that they have it. But on the other hand, you know, uh, a big use for it that I would have, personally, is kind of not there anymore. And, uh, I don't know. It really is, it's a forest patch. It is not a urban tree patch. So, yeah. Oh, well. Life will go on, right? So, anyway, there's that. Um, I've also kind of lost track of what I've recorded, what I haven't. Um, you know, I added in this train station here, um, really changed that. I've added in this, uh, space elevator. Now, I was watching, uh, Sam, Sam Burr on his, uh, Sam Petersburg. He added the space elevator, and he, the way he talked about it, it, it was pretty clear that he didn't really know what it is. So, um, what a space elevator is... It's basically, the, and, and part of this is the way the game shows it is not accurate. So in real life, not that uh, there is such a thing in real life, if you had a real space elevator, this uh, little cord here would continue up into space, into geosynchronous orbit, in fact. So uh, that's much higher than, like, a low Earth orbit. And you would attach a space station at the top of the cord that would basically be held to Earth um, through the, this would be the anchor to Earth and then people would get come, come into this port get on board the, an elevator and ride a vehicle up the cord all the way to space. It would take a lot longer than say a rocket. A rocket takes uh, 8 to 12 minutes yeah, it depends on the rocket and the trajectory and all that. And it takes about eight minutes for a rocket to get to space. Um, and the space elevator uh, depends on, you know, a lot of different factors, but it would take somewhere between hours and perhaps a day to get to space. Um, so it would be a lot slower, but at the same time, it would require a lot less energy. It would be a lot more easygoing. It would make it space a lot more accessible. You'd also be able to carry a lot larger loads. If you were, instead of doing people, you did cargo, you could carry 
um, somewhere in the vicinity. Again, depending on the strength and, and, and a whole lot of factors, you could carry a lot more stuff to space, or at least a lot less expensively to space um, if you don't count the um, investment that it would take to build the whole thing, which would be quite a bit in and of itself. And, you know, there's been a couple of people that have seriously uh, tried to, to do something like this. There, there was a company made one point with a couple guys. Um, and the biggest factor that's stopping this from happening uh, is, A, it is seen as a bit pie in the sky, but B, uh, the cord here, excuse me, the cord here, um, the tension on that cord would be so great that we just don't have any material um, in today's society that is capable of withstanding that tension, uh, at least not at, uh, over that length. We, we do know of materials, carbon nanotubes, uh, spider silk, those types of things, are strong enough to do the job, but you know, if to, to make a cable of spider silk, it, it's just not. We, we we don't have that technology yet. You know, you know, a spider's not going to make enough silk to 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 go to create a cable that is, you know, feet thick, all the way to space. You know, call it. Uh, I think it's two hundred fifty thousand feet. Um, you know. It's uh, it's a it's a long way to go for for the materials. So uh, there's great strength in those materials, but they're just not long enough. And there's been a lot of research, and maybe one day we'll we'll create the the proper uh, materials to be able to do so. And I have a feeling, honestly, that uh, if we did, it would probably have to do with space manufacturer, zero G manufacturer, manufacturer, low G manufacturing. Because um, I have a feeling that things will work differently uh, outside of the gravity well. But uh, that's just a, a pure supposition by a guy that it, uh, uh, likes to think pie in the sky sometimes. Alright, so now that I've done a lot of talking and you're like, okay, yeah, dude, but let's, uh, let's actually play this game. I'm going to go ahead and press play, let it play along. But I am going to adjust some things here. Um, so I have this rail going through. And I have it uh, going off to, to go to this rail station, and then it goes to a second rail station before uh, they recombine. And I have this uh, other section of uh, rail that is really just the expressway through for the cargo trains, as this one is here. And that basically allows it to where, uh, as we follow it along, that allows it to go all the way through the... Uh, area without having to worry about those stops uh, and it's able to continue all the way through and so uh, I think it works well as far as that function goes but one thing that I would like to change is particularly uh, this area right here uh, as you can see I have a pretty dense urban fabric going on here um, it's not quite downtown level but it is pretty dense, uh, high, high density to be sure. Um, and even here, even though it's, it's, it's a, there are a bunch of low rise, the, the, there's a big parking lot, and the stadiums here, because those are stadiums and there's such a high capacity, those are such high capacity buildings, this is still really high density um, in, a, in a real sense in that there's a ton of people coming to and from this area. And I mean, particularly when you look at uh, the way this uh, space elevator affects the area. So I want to continue that on over here because it just doesn't quite fit in right visually. I don't like these little buildings. I don't mind having them every once in a while, but I don't want a whole row of them like that. And this space is really being wasted. Now, we could do a couple things with this space. We could make it into parkland and that might not be a horrible idea or we can develop it with buildings I can plop some buildings in um, but I think whatever we choose to do with it we're going to need to move this rail line and what I want to do is I want to uh, co-inhabit the rail line above the this road here um, so we're gonna uh, Ashley Cooper Street whoever Ashley Cooper is 
uh, she's about to get a rail line on top of her street. Um, and we're going to use uh, an asset mod that uh, I've used over here to go over the avenue. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get that started. I think first things first, uh, we are going to need to go ahead and pause. I'm going to go ahead and delete this line right there. And I can move it over, but I'm not going to because, again, I'm going to re be using a slightly different rail line than is. Uh, it's a, technically a wholly different rail line. And then I'm going to go over to my rail here. And as you can see, I've already got some mods there uh, for my regular rail lines. But uh, we're going to scroll all the way down, and here we go. So we got the, the 32 meter that goes over the. Um, avenues and then the 16 meter which goes over the normal streets and I don't know does it give uh, doesn't have the little deal here that gives uh, by light footed there uh, by bad peanut so this is by bad peanut there you go um, he makes a lot of great stuff so um, we're gonna click here and we're gonna go to that you notice I have my snaps on and I'm not turning them off because they're actually helping me here. You know, uh, snaps can be pretty annoying uh, when they're in your way, but at the same time, invalid shape. Oh, uh, there we go. I went back to straight, so I just needed to hit that right click. Um, but at the same time, uh, they can be pretty helpful uh, to you, uh, particularly when you're trying to trace or parallel uh, an existing road. I think we're gonna bring it here. I kind of I want to curve there, but then at some point I want to curve that way. And we're gonna also go to a normal rail at this point. I'm gonna go all the way back here, and we're gonna go to that uh, each way. There we go. And uh, it helps if I page up. Um, I don't know what the height of the other one was. I think twelve. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, control A so that it lets me work this. And now I am going to go ahead and turn off all these snaps because now they're going to be bothersome. Now I'm not trying to trace that road. Alright, and so we're going to go ahead and just bring it on in. I'm going to turn these uh, toggle road bending off um, just so that it can, goes nice and straight now. You see there, it created a, a glitchy mess there. And that's because there's a node too close to where I came in. And so I need to just basically, I'm going to hold down Alt, and I'm going to pull back so that it stays in line, but it also gives this um, this intersection some space. Um, I don't want to pull it too close because then I'm going too close to the intersection. So um, a good rule of thumb, whether you're using uh, uh, the Move It mod and all these other Road Anarchy mods and stuff, um, is to always keep your segments uh, separated out as much as possible. That's going to ensure the best health of your your road or railroad or whatever network that you're you're building there. And so now, as you can see, I've got a whole lot more um, space that is zoned. Um, so this allows the zoning to to be there, um, and I think that's a great thing. Uh, also, what I, I want to think about is I want to think about connecting, at least pedestrian-wise, if not by car, um, horizontally this space because uh, you got so all these people coming out of the train line. If you had a way for people to get uh, from that train over to here, that's a little bit easier than having to go all the way around or all the, you'd have to go all the way over to here and do this convoluted thing. So let's give them a, a, a better pathway there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go over to my pass here, and I'm going to use the fancy path. I'm going to go with the 8 meter pedestrian path, um, and I have this new mod which I'm still learning. Um, as you can tell, I've, I've downloaded a lot of assets and mods, uh, so what kind of street light we want. Um, you can choose what kind of trees you want. Uh, let's see here, let's do, know, maybe a cypress tree, 
I'm I'm just trying to, to look through what what do we want to use? Uh, Scott's pine tree, an oak tree. Let's go with the classic oak tree. You can't go wrong with the oak, man. I love oak trees. They're probably one of my favorite trees. Um, kind of miss it because in my in the last house I had uh, several really huge thirty-year-old oak trees, and they were great. They provided a lot of shade for my yard. And my new house, I have one tree in the backyard and it's probably about 12 years old so it's not nearly as big it's not an oak tree um, so it's not as nice um, in my opinion and, uh, yeah I miss it so alright enough bitching let's get to this so uh, I got uh, control A for anarchy on um, and I'm just gonna start right here and height is too high. Okay, let's uh, not try and build it above the ground. I'm not trying to build it above the ground. I just want it on the ground. This is uh, one of those... Uh, let's do it. we got to think about that, that pillar there. So we'll move it to be more in line over here. Um, you got to think about uh, this doesn't go uh, vertical at all. You can't create a bridge with this particular... Uh, Road, which is a, it's a shame. Oh, I need to turn Anarchy off because um, I think I have a tree that's kind of right in the center there that doesn't need to be there. Now, I put on that oak tree. That creates... Wow, look at that. It's I can't even see. <laughs> I'm going to have to turn, turn tab on. Let's see what we got here. Um, well, it is quite the little space here. You can't really see much of it. Um, but... I'll say it doesn't look horrible. I might try and redo that. So let's see if we could do something else. Then. Oh, uh, let's turn tab on. There we go. Go ahead and delete that guy. All right. So that was that was a good experiment. Um, let's go again. Though. Um, oak tree was too much. So let's try um, maybe just doing a cypress tree. The cypress tree look like and I might have to go into my trees and pick up my tree based on what it looks like see that looks a lot different I think a lot better um, but it doesn't provide as much shade I do want a little bit of shade just I also want to be able to see my people so it's a, it's a happy medium here so let's let's go ahead and do that let's go over here and let's try and pick out a, a decent tree here you know um, a linden tree, young linden tree, regular. That might be okay. Um, London plane tree. That was. I think that might look pretty good. Let's see if we can't get the London plane tree. Okay, so let's go back over here and look for London plane tree. It's a linden. It's a linden plane tree. It's not enough, but it will That would help. Or is it? No, yeah. There's linden plane tree. Okay, found it. So it's down. I go down a little ways. Get to the London plane tree. Okay, let's see how this looks. Alright, guys, cross your fingers. It's going through that. Uh, I don't think I can change that either. It's not like I I plop that and so I can move it. Um, so that's one thing to think about too. Hmm. I wonder if okay, I'll figure out my buttons here in a second. I wonder if I do something along the lines where I I go and I click. Create a node there. And it's saving, I guess, or, or glitching. Okay. And then click again, and that didn't help. So it's just too big of a tree for going underneath the thing. So. It's a shame. It's a really great thing. I'll just have to use a smaller tree. 
Okay, so what kinds of trees are really small and tiny and also still look good? Maybe just use bushes. Tiny garden bush. There's a big bush, so oh, that's a big bush. Columnar. Okay, let's call it, use the columnar. Alright. Let's try that. Columnar. Where are you, Columnar? Wish there was like a search function where I could just type it in. Because I know what I'm looking for. Columnar, Columnar, where are you? Okay, I definitely must have passed it. So I need to... Or, or no, I'm saving. Okay, so I'm stuck. Thought I had reached the top. Come on. Get it saved. Come on. Alright. Call them or. Corsican. Not a columnar. No, okay. So. I'm at the, I did make it to the top. I, wonder, I guess I could do none and, like, plop on myself. But what's the fun in that? You know, if this doesn't work, this columnar, then uh, I'm gonna go <laughs> and I'm gonna abandon this idea and do something else. But, uh,. Where are you, Columnar? And I'm at the bottom. I guess I can't use that. Alright. You know what? Screw this. Screw you guys. I'm giving him. I'm just going to do a normal path. Um, let's do a normal path and, and we'll make our own little fancy happen out of it. Um, it'll be a little bit more detail intensive, but you know what? Um, we'll do it. So I'm going to put two down. Uh, right next to each other and I'm gonna go to my trees here and uh, let's let's do go back to like a nice big tree Lin London plane tree okay and so I'm gonna use uh, a new excuse me uh, mod that I've got the PLT it's an alpha um, You've got different place items at discrete intervals versus uh, one item at a time. I don't know. It kind of does its own thing. All right, I'm not going to mess with that too much, but um, the cool thing about this is you can basically draw your trees like you draw your ropes um, or any prop, not just trees. Um, and so right now, the spacing is, I think, too far, or not. Well, maybe it, it does need to be like this. Okay, there we go. So, uh, you click, and you drag it, and you can also do it along a curve, so it works just like drawing a road. Um, and then it's also got this circle option here, which is kind of cool. So you, you can uh, really get those roundabouts uh, figured out, um, which I haven't, I haven't used that uh, yet. So I don't do a lot of roundabouts, if you don't know this. I did one roundabout, and it, it's kind of trafficy. I don't like it, so... Um, I don't know. I, I seem to have more success without them. But I'm going to go ahead and stick this right down the center here. And then uh, I'm going to start a new one right there. And, yeah, that looks fantastic, doesn't it? Okay, and then we'll grab something a little bit smaller. Uh, maybe these blooming magnolias. And go right along here. Doesn't that look just fantastic? I think that looks fantastic. And look how easy that was for me. I'm just clicking and dragging and I'm done. It's not like, you know, I had to sit there and plop, 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 plop. It really takes the, the tediousness out of making a great looking thing. And so now uh, it's there. Now I might, what I also might do is 
Uh, and I'm just going to go over here to my Find It mod and do something along the lines of Curb. And I'm just going to lay out uh, the curb here. And by the way, guys, this is a, a, a little bit of a nose in the air um, moment here for me, but cement median, that is not a cement median, it is a concrete median. Uh, cement is one ingredient in concrete. And if you had a cement median, it would not be something worth walking on, it would not uh, be hard, and it, it's just, cement is a type of glue, essentially. Um, it is not something you walk on. That is concrete. Okay, now that we got that PSA away, <laughs> you know, I was probably sitting there like, who cares, dude, just draw. Um, let's go ahead and make it nice. Let's see, let's get to delete this thing here. I wonder if I can control P and it will leave it on or not. It's just not. So how am I going to get get this to, to go the way I want it to? So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm not going to redraw all this stuff. I'm just going to click and drag approximately. I'm going to use my movement mod. And I'm going to click on the segments here and put them where I want them. And that ought to do it in such a way that it's not going to delete my precious. And the tricky part is going to be like, okay, so let's control Z. Um, the tricky part is that uh, when you overlap like this, it can create uh, some difficulty in going back to move it again. Because now if I click, I'm clicking the end of the segment, not the uh, end of the curve segment. Anyway, you get the idea. And so now that looks pretty good, I think. Uh, I kind of like that. And uh, yeah, it's a great, nice connection. So. Um, Instead of just letting things grow, why don't we um, do some plopping? Um, now that I've kind of gotten into the plopping mood. So I'm going to go with uh, the, the Rico mod over here. Um, and I'm still kind of learning some of this stuff, so bear with me on that, guys. But um, let's do some nice medium density buildings. I'm not going to do like a target or series or anything like that, but. Um, do something like eh, maybe that's a bit too large. What's the west end? See, that's that's too large in a different way. Uh, so th this is about right. Okay. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna turn uh, anarchy off so that when I plop it, it will indeed delete the things that I'm going in front of. It's not essential, but it helps. And so, yeah, I, I just placed that. I think that looks great. It's a little bit deeper than uh, where the grid is. And so it fulfills the space a little bit better. Uh, what's this building look like? Nothing I want. Okay. Too big. Okay, that looks great, but not for this space. Okay, well, let's do a Macy's. A little bit too large. It's made to be, like, part of a mall. Um... We got a Best Buy here. Yeah, I mean, we can maybe get away with putting a Best Buy underneath that train line, but. And so that's it. So let's go to small. And so also going to the find it, you can just go to, um, instead of all, I think you could go to uh, growable. And it also gives you an option and there are a lot more options here because they're not all Rico compatible um, which is fine as long as uh, they are commercial they'll do the job right so now I can really start to have fun with this um, see why is it doing that it's kind of odd I think maybe I need to move this guy over or something. So I'm going to do that. And I'll try doing this. And I 
guess I don't need to move him over now. What in the heck? It's blank. That didn't work. It's the first time this happened to me, too. Uh, let's, we got a San Francisco Apple Store. Let's uh, see how that works. Yeah, that does not work either. Does it work? What the heck is going on? Is it just because it's right there? Uh, will it work over here? It won't. Uh, I don't know what's happening. It wasn't happening to me before. I wonder if that's it. What, what's going on? I need a wake for it to grow. Like, there's clearly people. Oh, it's growing. Oh, wow. And it's not the Apple Store. I guess I'll let it go. I'm really confused though as to what happened. Oh, there it is. It's, it is the Apple Store. Okay, so I just had to wait for it to grow. I didn't know that you would, when you plopped it, it would grow like that. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Um, what about this... Uh, building here. Yeah, that's a pretty cool looking building. Getting the density up. Let's click that right there. Is it going to grow? seen before. What the heck? Another apple store. I'm not going to do another apple store. I don't need that. Oh, interesting that it, you, you have to, they have to grow once you've plopped them. Okay, this thing is really weird when it grows, too. Interesting. The scaffolding isn't working correctly, I guess. Well, and it's there. <laughs> well, that is a funky-looking building. Something is not right there. It's, I have never seen anything like that. That would... That would really have to have some sort of mass dampening uh, over here to counteract the tendency for it to want to fall over. I don't know that that would actually work in real life. If it, if if somebody knew how to build that, it would be an engineering feat, and it would be ungodly expensive. I mean, the only other thing I can think of is you have a structure here that goes down and actually goes into the ground and anchors it from falling over, which would just be so impractical. Um, wow. Okay, well, we're gonna leave it. Screw it. Uh. That's why we, we play Skylines, because we don't have to make everything real, right? We can do what we want. Whatever. Now, this building has gone away. Where did it go? So, I wonder if I need to dezone along here. So that I can plop with abandon. I'm going to use up this whole thing. Get rid of all this stuff. And I'm going to make something of it. I'm not going to do it on screen. I'm not going to make you watch me. Oh, um, and I probably should connect that. That might be helpful too, huh? Let me go ahead and do that. And then uh, as I'm doing that, I will sign off. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um... That's my problem. I, that's my problem. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, and uh, it's it's really you guys that keep me going. So uh, I would be just playing this game all by myself, all by myself without you. So I really appreciate it. And I will talk to y'all later.